All right, so today we're doing the radio on the D1. Pretty easy to take out. There's two screws, one on either side. Undo those with an Allen key, slide the old unit out, and disconnect what's on the back. All right, so we found a perfect spot for the subwoofer. This is a self-amplified subwoofer, meaning that it does not require a separate amp. Decided to go for that in this car because honestly, the cabin is really not that big. I mean, you're talking about these rear seats, front seats, just not a big car. You've got speakers in the back here in either corner. You've got speakers in the door as well. You've got these up here. So, you know, for a small cabin, I think this, along with this self-powered, self-amplified subwoofer is gonna be plenty, especially since we're placing the subwoofer right here. I mean, this is where everybody sits. So all that mid-range and bass is really gonna be right here in this zone. So this spot is perfect. I'm a huge fan of trying to hide this stuff. I want everything to really look as factory as possible in here. Didn't wanna do like some giant sub box, you know, with two tens or two twelves, as good as that may sound you know, in the trunk. Number one, it takes up cargo room. Number two, I don't know, it just doesn't look finished to me. I think all the speakers should be inside a trim or hidden, things like that. So this is gonna be a perfect spot. I'm gonna put it right here under the seat. I am changing out the seats as you can see. So these are from the donor vehicle. Beautiful, much better condition. These things are almost like brand new. We've got a pair for the front as well. So I figure while I'm doing that, I might as well go ahead and locate this. So we put the seat back on. It's where it needs to be. I'll go ahead and feed the wires out. That way we can kind of run all that later when we do the stereo. But just wanted to give you guys an idea of where you can hide one of these. For reference, this is the uh, KSC SW11 from Kenwood. You can go look that up from a size perspective, length, width, and height. In case you're wondering other models that may fit from a size perspective, this happens to fit perfectly within these brackets. In fact, it is nestled in here and very, very secure. And so that should help really keep it in place. So that's where we're going to locate it and we'll go ahead and get on to the uh, rest of the stereo install. All right. So in my case, I actually got pretty lucky on this radio install. This Bremen unit um, has two inputs here in the back and then it's got a bunch of speaker inputs here on the side. And these two actually fit in these spots here. And then I got an adapter on Amazon from Metra. These are vehicle specific. But this basically takes this third plug that was plugged into the stock original radio and converts it to RCA inputs for the four speakers, well, six speakers in this case, because of the tweeters that are in this car. So it really depends on your setup. These cars came with a couple different stereo options. Some include like CD changers, all kinds of stuff. So there is a methodology to running from the factory amp which is back under here, new wires from the head unit space down here and tapping the speaker wires that then go out to, you know, your speakers throughout the various parts of the car, you know, in the back. I was gonna do that, but then I realized that these actually fit. I did a test run and the sound's coming out correctly out of all these speakers through the factory amp. So we're gonna go that route, it's much easier. A couple things we do need to do, obviously we need to hook this up based on the wiring. I did order some of these, if you use the factory amp on these D1s, um, a lot of times you can get interference. And so this helps to cut that out. I'm gonna need to get another one of these actually because it's two in, two out, and I've got four of those. So we'll just pull it and install another one later. But I'm gonna go ahead and install this one, cut down some of the interference, just static, you know, you can definitely hear it. And then we're gonna take this fish tape, this wire that I ordered, and we're gonna use that to run the cable that comes out of the subwoofer which we mounted under the seat just back through here up to the head unit so that's pretty easy and then we're going to also need to run the wiring that tells this to turn on back through here and also to the battery in the front hood area to power this particular sub but once those are done then we are in good shape and ready to rock so this one's turned out to be a little easier again the only other step i would have done which is running new wire from here take some T-taps and tap the existing wiring for the speakers. But I'm gonna go and get this in and start working on all that and then I'll show you kind of the finished product. So no easy task. I was able to get the fish tape up through here and to the head unit. There is very, very little space. 
back in here there's just like a tiny little opening that I was able to get these cables for the under seat subwoofer through so this is definitely the hardest part I'm actually pretty glad I'm not fishing multiple speaker wires you know through this section here because there really aren't a ton of openings but the easiest way to find out where is um, you know just follow some of these existing factory cables right so you've got antenna cables all kinds of things coming up through here just look inside to determine you know where they come up which in this case is right here and then you know use your fish tape and just go slowly you know take your time you don't want to rip any cables or anything like that but got the subwoofer cable through so we'll go ahead and get all this cleaned up get the uh, bremen head unit in and then we'll work on wiring the power and everything for the sub Okay, so units all in, got that uh, secured. We've got this little external mic. I'm probably gonna mount just tucked right there in the corner and then hide this cord just so that's not visible. But beauty of this thing is it has Bluetooth, so we'll have the ability to play phone through the stereo and be able to use this external mic. It's great because I actually um, take a lot of calls on the road, tend to be pretty mobile sometimes. So that's gonna be a nice feature to be able to do hands-free uh, in a 97D1. So. This piece of the install is done. We'll go ahead and get the subwoofer hooked up. Then we'll kind of do a recap and close out the video. So overall, super pleased with this unit. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a good look at the color LED feature. It uh, is obviously bright out, but it does match the green color on the factory dash, which is an added bonus. And it is fully adjustable. So if you've got a BMW with kind of that iconic orange color you've got other makes and models that have different led colors of original lights you can fine tune this to like hundreds of different colors so that in itself is a huge bonus as you can see it looks super period correct there are other options that you can look into from people like continental and others but i honestly think this one is a really good bet in terms of period correct look great features good sound pretty easy to install as you guys saw and the customization of the leds the overall sound setup with the subwoofer underneath our seat is really great. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to hear this on the video, but I'll give you a little preview of that. We did install a uh, remote under here, which is nice. We can you know, take out all the bass, turn it up. So, you know. Definitely a uh, good optionality there, depending on the type of music, and it's nicely hidden. You can just sort of tuck it away there, and you don't even see it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button. And uh, lots more coming for this uh, build on the exhaust side, and then uh, we're actually going to be pretty close to wrapping this one up. So stay tuned for more episodes here on this build and others. Thanks again for watching.